हेलो टू एवरी वन स्टूडेंट लेक्चर इज ऑन स्पीड कंट्रोल ऑफ डी सी मोटर बाय भाग्यश्री थोरा सो वॉट इज स्पीड कंट्रोल स्पीड कंट्रोल ऑफ डी सी मोटर मीन्स इंटेंशनल वेरिएशन ऑफ स्पीड अकॉर्डिंग टू द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ वर्क लोड कनेक्टेड विद द मोटर This can be done by mechanical means such as step pulleys, change gears, friction clutch mechanism, and electrical means varying field flux, connecting resistance in series with armature, controlling voltage applied across the armature terminal. Step pulleys. A pulley is a wheel. on an axle or shaft that is designed to support movement and change of direction of a taut cable the supporting shells are called blocks the series of pulleys of various diameters combined in a signal concentric unit and used to vary the velocity ratio of shafts also known as cone pulley next mechanical means type is change gears pulley works in a similar way to gears except that they are not directly joined but linked by either elastic bands tabular springs or some other flexible unit or some other flexible but strong material which is referred to as a belt a common example in a fan belt car that links a number of pulleys to stop the pulley belt slipping over the edge they have grooves in them this keep the belt running in a straight line and stops it from jumping off pulley that use some form of belt drive are referred to as friction drive mechanism pulley have several advantages over gears but also some disadvantages the main advantage is that they are simple to make can be used at a distance from each other unlike gears that need to touch in order to work the disadvantage is that they work by friction and so can slip this could seriously upset the timing of a complex automata you can get a tooth pulley and belt which eliminates any slipping or timing problems a bicycle is a good example of this principle model supplier often stock small plastic tooth pulleys or chain set which are reasonably priced like gears you can use the pulley to either set up or to either step up or step down the drive next type is a friction clutch mechanism to understand how a clutch works it helps to know a little bit about friction which is measure of how hard it is to slide one object over another friction is caused by the peaks and valleys that are part of every surface even every smooth surface still have microscopic peaks and valleys the larger these peaks and valleys are the harder it is to slide the object clutches are useful devices that have two rotating shafts in these devices one of the shaft is typically driven by a motor or pulley and the other shaft drives another device in a drill for instance one shaft is driven by a motor and other drives a drill chuck the clutch connects the two shafts so that they can either be locked together and spin at the same speed or be decoupled and spin at different speed in a car you need a clutch because the engine spins all the time but the car's wheels do not in order for a car to stop without killing the engine 
the wheels can be disconnected from the engine somehow the clutch allows us to smoothly engage a spinning engine to a non spinning transmission by controlling the slippage between them speed changes with every change in load because speed variations depend on depend not only on controlling resistance but on load current also this double dependency makes it possible to keep the speed sensibly constant on rapidly changing load the large amount of power is wasted in the controller resistance loss of power is directly proportional to the reduction in speed hence efficiency is decreased maximum power developed is diminished in the same ratio as speed it needs expensive arrangement for dissipation of heat produced in the controller resistance it gives speed below the normal not above it because armature voltage can be decreased not increased by the controller resistance this method is therefore employed when low speeds are required for a short period only and that to occasionally as the printing machines for cranes and hoists where motor is continually started and stopped that's the reason we want electrical methods or efficiency we want to increase i hope this lecture